Good morning, everybody. This is Matt Croissant, your internet manager and dedicated content creator over here at Kia of Columbia here in Missouri, getting you some information on the 2022 Kia Telluride SX Prestige Nightfall in wolf gray with a black interior. I'm sure I've done one of these videos before, but this video is primarily for Tobin and his family over in California. Thank you so much for your time and business. We're gonna give you a full feature breakdown of your Telluride since we unfortunately are not ever going to personally meet. But, um, you know, feel free to check this video out. And again, thank you so much. Everybody give a big shout out to Tobin and congratulate him on his Telluride as he's been waiting a little while for this one. All right, let's go ahead and break it down. Up front on an SX model, you get the amber LED daytime running lights. We've got full LED projector beam headlights here, as well as LED fog lights on here too. It's all LED. Nightfall package is gonna give you black lettering, this special grill, the black trim here, black front bumper, black inserts there as well as your 20 inch bezeled wheels on here. We've also got black accents on the roof rails, some darkened chrome trim wrapping around the windows here. We've got turn indicators on our outside mirrors along with blind spot monitors. We also have keyless entry on the front two doors for locking and unlocking. We also have black body side molding that's uh, almost kind of hard to see with the black plastic trim there, but it's there. We'll see it kind of glisten here in a little bit. Wrapping around to the rear here, more black accents on the D pillar of the vehicle. All wheel drive badging, black lettering, black rear bumper. This model also has your tow package, which is going to have a two inch receiver with a seven pin connection. We've also got some rear parking sensors on here, backup camera also included with the power lift gate. If I didn't mention, this has a heated back glass with a rear wiper and sprayer and full LED tail lighting. Your side mirrors on this model are also going to have cameras for your surround view monitor system as well as blind view monitor system, which I'm going to be covering both for you this morning. On the grill, right under the Kia badge is also the front camera for that surround view monitor system. All right, let's hop on in. Sunroofs up above, by the way. Okay, on the door, we've got a nice little piece of wood grain trim that travels across the front dash and all the doors here. We have memory seating for two, which is going to remember the positioning of your mirrors, your seat, as well as the Heads up display, which we can see right there slightly. Okay. Mirrors are going to be power folding, which means they're powered all together. Power locks, power windows, all four are automatic. And then we've got a combo window child lock here. Nice storage in the doors with a bottle holder. SX models come with Harmon Cardon. I don't know why I say it like that, but it's fun. Napa leather with your prestige package. Loving the scaled stitching on here. We have a 12-way adjustable power driver seat. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Every vehicle that we sell comes with all-weather floor mats as well as an all-weather cargo tray. Tobin's Telluride is simply waiting for shipping, so we've got everything ready to go and cleaned up for them. Full tank of gas included. On the left hand side of the dash, we've got dash illumination controls, blind spot monitoring, lane keep assistance, traction control, and your power lift gate button. We have a leather wrapped heated steering wheel here for you, which if you need to adjust, you're going to unlock on the left hand side. This can tilt as well as telescope. It's pretty rigid, just so you know, so it's going to uh, be, pr be pretty easy to adjust even if you have one hand here. On the left-hand side of the wheel will be all of your entertainment and convenience for voice recognition, audio sources, volume control, and these buttons are treaded on the left and right so you can easily locate them. Tracks and presets and Bluetooth. Right-hand wand will control your 
uh, well, blah, blah, sorry, getting too far ahead of myself. On the right-hand side of the steering wheel, we're going to have your driving and information tools. This page button with this OK lever here will be for your drive display. So on the first screen here, we can see that we have our fuel economy information, accumulation info based off of the total lifespan of the vehicle, drive info, which is typically from the last time the vehicle was started or refueled, and then you have a digital speedometer here along with your different drive modes. So right now I have this Telluride set into smart mode. Smart mode is going to change between sport, comfort, and eco for you automatically. And you also have a dedicated snow mode over here and your all-wheel drive lock. But based on your pedal usage down here, we've got some nice, nice sporty brushed aluminum pedals there. Sorry we can't get the focus on there. There we go. But based on your pedal usage, the Telluride will automatically change the drive mode for you, which will also change the steering feel, shift points, and engine tuning with the variable valve timing. Next, we have our navigation screen. This will show you turn-by-turn -turn information if you're navigating, and a checkered flag will pop up next to your fuel range here, providing you the distance of how far away you are from your destination. Safety and convenience screen is going to show you when the lines on the road are registered here. Also, if you have the cruise control on, it will let you know when the vehicle in front of you is also registered too, and showing you a cruise readout here. That will always be there, as we can see that pops up up top now by switching screens. This is your driver attention system, paying attention to how you're driving, uh, if you're triggering the safety systems frequently, uh, accelerating, braking crazily, following too closely. All of those things coming together to, uh, for the Telluride to maybe assume your attention level. And if you're not doing too well, the vehicle's gonna beep at you to make sure that you know you're not being very attentive right now. Um, and maybe it's time to take a pit stop, stretch your legs a little bit, get the blood flowing again. Whoops, wrong button. This is your all wheel drive screen showing you power output to each individual wheel. This will also show you your steering angle and you have onboard tire pressure information too. And then we can go into our settings where you can customize your heads up display and your driver assistances, the doors. We're gonna do a smart lift gate demo for you. You can also adjust your lights, such as the one touch turn signal. For example, if we wanted the turn signal to flash seven times instead of three, which I recommend for SX Telluride owners because you have your blind view monitor. So when you nudge the left wand, this will stay on for seven flashes, which will stay on for longer. So you have a better view, just gives everybody around you a little more notification, slightly greater convenience there. You can also turn on your welcome sound here, which we'll hear when we turn off the vehicle, your conveniences as well such as your welcome and mirror lighting. All kinds of good stuff in here. Service intervals, you can also set that too. All right, and that's it for the drive display here. You know, we can also see drive mode, fuel range, cruise readout, ambient temperature, any safety features that are active, transmission selection, and the odometer. Beyond that, uh, for the cruise control system, you can select four different following distances for the Telluride to maintain for you on the highway there. I use the shortest one day to day. Uh, the longer ones really depend on the weather and also maybe your speed of travel to prevent any rock chipping or just to give the vehicle a little bit more time and space to brake. All right, left hand wand will control blinkers, brights, and headlights. Flick this forward and you'll get your automatic high beam notification there. This will turn the brights on and off for you at nighttime. Once you get into the neighborhood though, or at a lower speed, it will turn that feature off so you're not blinding anybody that's uh, at a perpendicular, uh, I guess, mode of travel to you. Right hand wand will control your front and rear wipers with their respective sprayers. The front wipers are automatic rain sensing wipers. So we can actually leave this on right here and any moisture that touches this it will automatically wipe it away based on your speed and the volume of water hitting the windshield there. Okay, vehicle is push to start. Looking up above on the headliner here, you can see it has the nice suede headliner here coming with our prestige package here. Visors will be mirrored, lit, have a nice little ticket holder here. 
You can swing this out and this will extend to the full length of the window here for all of your shading needs. Up above here we have our lighting as well as our Kia access services. You can download an app to your phone where you can remote start your Telluride, lock or unlock the doors, check the location, set the temperature, all kinds of cool stuff at your fingertips on your phone there. And you get that service for a whole year for free with Kia. Sunglass holder, it's nice and felt lined here. And then we have sunroof controls. So this left switch is for the front sunroof here, which can tilt and slide and has a manual sunshade. The second switch here is going to be for the automatic sunshade for the rear sunroof, which is a fixed piece of glass. Really just allows for some extra natural light to be let into the cabin here. All right, and then we have an auto dimming rear view mirror with Homelink garage controls. Here is your 10.25 inch entertainment center display. So we'll confirm this for driver one for right now. The user profiles will save all of your settings for uh, your radio presets um, and everything how you have this vehicle set up, including your ambient lighting, which we're going to go over, which is underneath here typically if the headlights are on. So maybe we'll see that come to life here. I'll get the uh, brightness adjusted for that in just a second here. All right. So moving over here, we have our entertainment display. This is the home screen showing you your map, your media, time, and sometimes weather information too once we get all of the services connected. But this will give you access to your map, navigation, phone. Phone projection is Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, which requires a wired connection on this head unit to that center USB port that says USB. You can record voice memos in the vehicle, put it the Telluride in a valet mode with your Kia access services activated, which lets you know if the Telluride's been driven more than a mile away from the position that you activated that feature. You've also got passenger talk, which is going to use the interior speaker system to uh, make your voice play throughout the vehicle so everybody can hear you perfectly clearly. We can also see once you have one app running, you can actually have two at a time, or you can minimize that as well. We can either hit end here or the driver can hit end phone call. You also have quiet mode, which will reroute all the volume to the front speakers, and turn it down for you rear climate controls, traffic weather and travel information, your radio, and settings. Let's dig into here real quick. We're going to go into vehicle. And we're going to go to lights. And we're going to play with the ambient lighting here. Brightness. Jack it up. Color. So we can choose preset colors such as Peaceful Forest. And you can see that lighting should pop up right underneath here. However, the lights need to be on. I turned them off on accident so we can see. Ooh, there we go. That does not flicker in real life. That's just a filming uh, error there. So there we go. But you can choose any color you want. Maybe you want to change this to violet cloud. Changes pretty quickly. Maybe an orange delight for you. Or we can set a custom color by going to the color wheel here and you can pick any color that you want say maybe this uh, nice purple right here you know oh yeah so you can set any color that you want and then once you do that just use the custom color right there we'll change it to blue flight for now other things we want to check out in the settings is we want to go to uh, vehicle again oh actually we already activated the door features that's what I was thinking about but let's go over to the sound with your Harman Kardon audio system. This sound system in the Telluride is amazing. So let's make sure we have this and this on, and it will surely be enjoyed. Tobin, if you want less bass, feel free to turn that back off. But uh, I think you will definitely enjoy it. All right. So that's really it for settings that I think should be activated for everybody as a baseline and then can be turned off or customized later. Down here we have analog controls for most everything that I mentioned, including a favorite button, which can be used to jump to any of the applications I just mentioned as a quick shortcut. Mm -hmm. Climate controls, heated wheel here again, and then we've got dual climate up front. We can access the rear on screen here, get that turned on and have everything rolling at 72 degrees, or you can use the rear climate just up here.
in the rear there. Okay, uh, beyond that, we've got heated and cooled seating up front. It's three step in either direction on the same switch here. Our storage area is going to have a 12 volt outlet, two USBs, one for data, one for charging, and your wireless charging pad. You can always close this up right here just by pressing down all the way in the center and let it bottom out. It's kind of kind of mushy if you ask me. There's no click or anything like that, so you'll just have to press it all the way down. Storage here, cup holders, quick peek at the key fob for you. Most of your buttons on the side, and then we've got our remote start on the face here. Let's go ahead and check out our surround view monitor system. So when I put the vehicle in reverse, this pops up, but also the mirrors tilt down. If you don't want them to tilt down, put the mirror selector back to the center and those will angle back up for you. But here's our surround view monitor system. With the vehicle currently in reverse, it's going to show us vehicle pathing in reverse here. So this representing these side lines, representing the sides of the Telluride, just as this is representing the nose here and showing you where the vehicle is going to travel to uh, in real time. As long as nothing comes in between those lines and the vehicle here and just in between in this box here, you shouldn't impact with anything. That's how this technology works. If you're getting close though, don't be afraid to use your mirrors. So if we need a different view here, we can zoom out. We can also zoom in. You have your rear parking sensors, which will be active over here, just so you know. If you do get close to anything, that will trigger them. And we can change our views here. We've got this nice overhead view for the tow package, looking at just the rear here, with a nice little center line. We can also check out the rear wheels if we need to, too. Putting the vehicle in drive, we're gonna do a couple things. That's gonna switch the cameras to the front here, but also, I'm going to activate auto hold. That green text is going to pop up in the top right there, and anything that's green on this screen is letting you know that that feature is active and engaged. And while auto hold is engaged, I can take my foot off the brake here and relax while I'm showing you the front camera system. So, we can see the pathing has now switched to the forward direction here. This is your front camera, just giving you a nice view of everything in front of us. Global overhead view with tire pathing on this screen, and again, we can also check out our front wheels. Definitely don't want to curb those beautiful pieces, right? Now what we also have going on down here is our start-stop system, disengage. If this light is on, the system is off. Parking sensors, 360 degree view, auto hold, and your electric parking brake. Center console will have another USB inside with an extra tray that you can use for any extra sets of sunglasses typically and a nice deep well for storage. And then you have a lockable glove box, which right now we have the window sticker inside and you also have a wiring harness. This is going to be for any trailer brake that you want to install uh, with your Telluride since this has the tow package and that's all nice and felt lined for you too. But uh, that's going to be it for the front seating area. We're going to go ahead and check out second row, third row, and do a smart lift gate demo for you. Welcome sound, saying goodbye. Electric parking brake will typically engage itself each and every time, and all you have to do is just put the vehicle in drive when you're ready to go. That's going to prevent any sort of rollback or anything like that. Second row, we're going to have sunshades. On the second row windows here for some extra sun coverage, wind diffusion, maybe keeping some puppy noses off of here. Captain's chairs back here are going to be heated and cooled in the same three-step fashion as they are up front. Nice large handles right here to swing the doors closed without having to touch any of the paint. I think that's a really smart idea. Maybe that's not what it was intended for, but that's how I use it. More storage and bottle holders in the doors. Cargo bag, cargo net, bag hooks. USB ports to the left and right, cup holders, a 12 volt outlet, and a power inverter are in here behind the console. Your captain's chairs have latch seating available and can be leaned back or folded all the way down. The armrests ratchet into place depending on your seating angle. And then again, we have the climate control here. It looks like this light needs to be turned off. There's ventilation up above and down below on all three rows here, as well as lighting on all three rows. And then if we need to get into the third row, whether you are tall or whether you are small, said Dr. Seuss, all you have to do 
is just press that one touch slide button and it'll push the seat forward for you where you can access the third row. Back here you can see we've got the cargo tray installed but you do have seating for three back here and you can pull up on this to install the third row and then choke up on it when you want to uninstall. It's all spring loaded really. It's nice and easy to use. We have cup holders, USBs, and storage back here as well as the rear speakers. And then your rear occupant sensors shooting out sonar into the vehicle when you're getting out of it to make sure no one's been left behind. We have a set of carpeted floor mats back here too. But the all weather matting that we provide is in all three rows as well as in the cargo mode for this vehicle. Slide the angle or the bottom back first and then lock in the back for your angle to get the positioning of this correct. All right, smart lift gate time. We're gonna lock the vehicle. We're gonna step away for just a moment. We're almost done, folks. Thanks for all your time. These Tellurides have lots of features and lots to cover. Tobin, we can take this off if you want to, if you're seeing this video beforehand. Usually we don't put these on, but maybe there's a new guy in our detail department. Really easy to remove. Sorry about that if uh, that's not to your liking. But all you have to do to activate your smart lift gate is maybe stand further away for a little bit. Sorry, that kind of threw me off. That's a one-off right there. Usually we don't put those on any of the Tellurides. So I will bring that up to his salesperson, David. We can get that remedied. But after you've been away, the keys are in my pocket. There we go. Four beeps and flashes. Liftgate will automatically open for you, okay? And once you're ready to close it, you just press right there. If you need more cargo space, right above the 12 volt outlet back here, press this. That'll fold your rear seats down and boom. You've got so much cargo capability in this vehicle. Rear subwoofer for the Harman Kardon system. Lifting this up here, there's extra storage. You can put this cargo tray right here if need be. There we go. And that will drop into place. And if you have the third row up, this tri-fold cargo tray will fold up into itself nicely so you don't actually have to remove it from the vehicle. Towing accessories can be found in here. You've got a tongue and a cap cover. And then roadside tools are hiding over here along with the real access for the spare tire here, okay? So we'll leave this just like so for now. It's really easy to reinstall. Then the front bracket, of course, for a front license plate. We do not install this here since we work with people all over the country and not each state is the same. You also have a little bit of extra lighting right there. Last thing I wanna do with you guys before we wrap up this video, let's check out some passenger seat adjustability. Passenger seat is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight way adjustable. We also have some extra storage on this side of the vehicle too. All right, we're all done. Thanks so much for your time, everybody. Make sure you like and share this video with your friends and family. Give another big shout out and congratulations to Tobin and his family over in California on their Telluride. Leave a comment if you have any compliments, questions, or corrections about any of the information provided to you today. Most importantly, don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so that way you can stay up to date with all of the vehicles we're uploading to this channel for your informational and shopping needs. This Telluride and most of our Tellurides, of course, are spoken for. and We are getting very close to the time for 2023 models. If you'd like some information for generally how our process works, Feel free to click the link down below in the description. This is Matt Croissant over at Key of Columbia here in Missouri. Thank you so much and we hope you're having a wonderful day.